Hey again, let's be talking in this video about HashMap. HashMap is a really really interesting data structure you should use when you want to have a fast query. So I will just create a new class, I will name it HashMap Demo. Okay, so how HashMap works, I will tell you in seconds. So the HashMap is very very simple, it's basically it is a simple array, okay? And every array, for example, array, let us assume we start with array with multiple location one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever they defined on and depend on that structure. Every node in the array have linked list, linked list of elements. So every location have linked list of the elements. Then it end up, for example, this one and this one. And this one is end up. And same thing for other nodes. It's been it's been in this way. So when we say hash map, that means every element have two things: have key and have value. So the key is something I would access to the location, and the value I access to the value. What I mean by that? I mean when I tell you the key is is five. The key should be encrypted and should go here to this location five, and you search for you start. For example, I tell you I I will tell you key five. This one encrypted for five, so your element should be added in this list. Your V will be added here. If another element have another same key encrypted, it will be added in this list. Okay, so it is just key and value that structure. It may not be that clear for you in this course, but I have a course for that structure if you're interested to learn more about the data structure since it is Android course. So let me give you just the using for how we could use the hash map. Think about the, the example that we have it for users. Suppose I want to define users. So I would define a hash map. I say var ma list of users. Okay. And this user is a hash map. So I say hash map. Hash map, what it will be? Key and value. What the data type of the key and what the data type of the value. If we assume every user have an ID and name, because two users could have same name, so we cannot use a username as a key. The key should be Unix. The key, sh you could not have two person have same key. So I would say the key integer ID for the user and the value I would say I would say it is citric. Okay, the username. Now how I could add elements in this linked list? I say list of users. I will add, for example, the ID this one, this ID is for Hussein. Okay? So that means there is ID referred to this guy. You could add more. For a specific ID, for example. 5574 refer to Jenna. Uh, there is another ID. Whatever, you could give it this integer number. Leia. Okay? Now you want to print. You just print whatever you want to print. A print line. I want to print. Definitely when you call them, you call them by ID. I want to print this ID. I say, hey, print ID 123. Then you say this way. So now if I just debug it to see how, how the data structure for this one, just seconds, run it. Here we go. I just don't have anything to create now a hash map for me. So hash map, if you see, I have zero, it have key and value. The key is integer, one, two, three, and the value is Hussein. The other one, it don't care, this is not index. This is the real thing, key value. The key is integer, which is this, and the value is uh, the one was Jenna, this one is Hussein. And the Leia, same thing. Now, if I, you ask for any ID, so for example, you ask for ID 123, it should go to 123 and show you Hussein in the console. So you should see Hussein in the console. So this is very, very basic data structure for the hash map. It's key and value. You cannot have two people with same keys. For example, let me assume I have Rana. And have same key for Hussein. What what will happen? This is nice question. Let me see. What will happen if two people have 
same key. So just get run now. Just go next list of users. I have first user, which is Hussein with ID one two three. Second user, which is Leia, Jenna, and the third one is Leia. Where is it? There is Leia. Now Rana, because she has the same ID with Hussein, what she will do? She will overwrite Hussein, and she take she will take over of him. So see, there is no more Hussein anymore. There is Rana because she has an ID, same ID, so she took it. Now when I print, I will see Rana. I don't see Hussein. So Hussein gone. This one took it. So if two have same ID, one will take over the other because you override them because it's same key. Now what if I want to print all of all the element? I say okay for any key I have it in the list of hash map dot keys. So just bring me any keys you have them and print me user per key. So user you could say the key then the value the key. Then key value, key value, so it will be nicer. Now I I'm able to print all of them because I'm doing list. I'm going through all the keys, get them key by key. First one, show me the value. Second one, show me the value. Third one, show me the value. And boom, that is. See, this uh, this key, Jan, uh, no, this key, Rana, this key is Leia. See, they don't order them because HashMap don't order things. If you see that, it's just array of linked list, so they will not be ordered for you. So now this is basic how hash map works, but this is not not all the story. You don't have the key. Don't have to be integer. It could be string. It could be anything, and the value don't have to be string. It could be array list things. Let's go to the next example and see how we could apply this on the on the previous example that we have it about the pits and peoples. See you.